All right, here is the light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker came off a of Dana White's contender series, Brazil style. Three consecutive first round knockouts to begin his UFC career. He's just getting started. And three consecutive bonuses. It's much harder when you're going in there, fighting tooth and nail, and walking away with just your paycheck. But Johnny Walker has made a habit of putting on performances that makes people take notice. From the knockout of Khalil Roundtree to the spinning back fist that he landed against Justin Lede. He has been a highlight reel in a bottle, and he is looking to continue his climb up the UFC light heavyweight ranking. And at least to this point, the only adversity he's faced in the octagon, self-inflicted, oh my goodness, a post-fight celebration after the Misha Serkinov. I mean, his celebrations are crazy. He threw his shoulder out yeah. doing the worm. He told me the other day in Brazil he has to find a new way to celebrate. I said, you think, Johnny? I think he does, but Johnny Walker's on the fast track, and he's got a big one in front of him here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 35 wins, 17 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Round one is upon us between two. Oh! You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. As he gets... Oh, huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, huge elbow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So 
just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Johnny Walker. Yeah. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's stock, beating his leg up. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. the shot. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, Johnny Walker looking fluid and powerful here early. Here's hoping, DC, that if he does win tonight, he doesn't injure himself celebrating. We all remember when he dislocated his shoulder shortly after a win not all that long ago. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big knee! So we call on the numbers here, 40 total strikes. He was hurt, serve him up, go get him. Back to the feet. He's looking for that left hand. Goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and marched right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Johnny Walker! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.